If you see a little bit of a brown colored layer on top, do not be too concerned. That is some other compound that is present in acetylferrocene, probably the biacetyl compound, the two acetyl groups. Acetylferrocene has only one acetyl group. This fraction is probably due to the one which has two acetyl groups in it. Continue the elution till as before the glass wool will have no color absorbed by it. You can already see the difference between the two fraction colors. This is reddish orange whereas the first one was yellowish. Let us refill. It's a pretty color, isn't it? So these are some of the observations that you should be making. You know, what was the solution color initially when you prepared it first? Then what happened to the different fractions? What colors are they? So those are all important observations that one should make. If you want to get some more of the solvent, you want to make sure that there is solvent level above the sand and then go get some solvent. Or if you are afraid that it will go down, ask one of your friends to watch that for you and you go quickly and bring it. Just going to get some more 1 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate in case I need it, but I may not because this start this is starting already to look pretty white to me. But let's just have some anyway ready. It is never a good idea to use the dropper from this solvent bottle to your column because if it touches the column it gets contaminated then this whole solvent container will be contaminated so please do not do that I'm just checking how this glass wool looks it looks pretty white to me there is no orange coloration so we are done and let us see how the tip of the column looks if you notice there are a few crystals sticking on top of the tip of this column. So what I want to do is just take a little bit of solvent, squirt it to make sure that those crystals are washed back into this fraction. Okay, it's all white and done. We can close this at this point because we are done collecting the two fractions of the mixture. Now we can leave the column aside. We are ready to concentrate these two solutions. Remember what we are going to do is spot these two components also on the TLC plate. I will explain to you how to do that after we transfer these to round bottom flasks because we are going to use the rotary evaporator to remove the solvents. We started with the solid mixture. We want to end up with the solid, solid components. So we will use rotary evaporator to evaporate off the solvents from these two to get the solids back. To use the rotary evaporator, what we need is for these mixtures to be in a round bottom flask. We cannot use the rotary evaporator on a beaker. So we want to transfer these two solutions to pre-weighed round bottom flask. What do I mean by pre-weighed? You have weighed the empty, clean, dry round bottom flask and noted the weight of these flasks. I have one 100 ml round bottom flask clean dry and pre-weighed ready i also have a second round bottom flask this one is a 250 ml round bottom flask 
clean, dry and pre-weighed.